Well, hello there, everybody. My name is James, and this is my 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. When I go up north, let's say Algonquin or Tobomori, there's mosquitoes, so I have this mosquito net that I fashion across that way. Uh, this goes this way so for some privacy. So right here, as you can tell, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny space. You've got this small floor room here, and this is basically it. This is where everything kind of happens. The lighting system here, is it's controlled over here it's bluetooth it's usb base that this is temporary uh, i installed this earlier this week i'll probably put paracord there but for now uh, that's how i'm able to do it I, and i could sort of like it's like a task light depending on what i'm doing it can move across okay like this okay it's not, it's not i wouldn't call it elegant but uh it works really well for me now at the top over here is where I keep my food stuff. So I've got enough food for about seven to 10 days. I remember the expression, a bug out vehicle. I remember seeing the, you know, where they're all kind of self-contained. They usually have big tires and they go everywhere. I guess this would also be like my bug out vehicle in addition to my uh, Fortress of Solitude. One of the things I wanted to do was to finish what's called an ultra race, okay? Spartan ultra race in 50 plus kilometers and I used to drive out on a trail and I would like be so tired I needed a place to crash out so that was one of the things I built out this van another reason is I needed a place to sort of like a safe space where I can just sort of collect my thoughts uh, just relax just to chill out you know because the reality is you know we all go through certain circumstances situations in our lives where we just need to be able to sort of you know, get things together get our minds right and having a van or a safe space where I could sort of just drive away find a nice spot and just do simple things like making maybe making myself some tea or coffee and writing a, my short stories something like that it it's really helped out in terms of my my mental health so it's like a like my cabin on wheels and it's definitely much more affordable than a cottage you know so I, I you know I don't have a budget for a cottage or a cabin out in the woods I think in many ways this is better so building out something like this allowed me to, to travel all over Ontario and I know at some point uh, I'll be uh, traveling out west and something like this would probably be the best thing for me cooking setup uh tiny tiny kitchenette for a tiny tiny van I just put everything aside and this is uh, my my burner right I don't actually cook here I take this and I prefer cooking outside or I actually place it right here I open the side door and I cook from here I've got these things these look really weird I know eh? like, okay it goes like this it goes in like that okay and it goes like this boom I've got myself a table Okay, really simple table. This, this, everything here were, were from um, pallet wood or from a discount, discount lumber or in some cases, uh, family members have said, oh, you're, you're making something. Here's some wood that I have. Uh, you know, here's some materials. You can use it. Uh, you know, the only thing I, I actually didn't, um, you know, uh, uh, install that was used was the electrical system so I didn't want to mess with that it took a while to build this thing it uh, you know when, when, when something became available oh great now I can build this and that's and so I spent very little money on this this van was about I paid about fifteen hundred dollars eighteen hundred bucks in terms of materials you know this was I got that from the garbage the ceiling everything was donated so my build materials were very low um, I'd say about seven eight hundred dollars or so for build materials um, plus electrical I'm looking at about probably about in total about three thousand dollars three three thousand thirty five hundred dollars I have this miniaturized AC right over there it's 12 volts and it, it it, it works really well uh, w w if I'm at sh if I have short power it's amazing otherwise I get at least four to five hours in a given night if I have topped up batteries it's a spot cooler more than anything else it, it is it will not cool the entire van I use it to sort of pull this so that I can articulate it is where I keep power 
and then I have a switch here that I turn on. It's low power, but it's great if it's blowing on you. It's just, it's perfect. The heater that I have, it's a, a diesel heater. It's a generic diesel heater. Picked it up for like $150. Um, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, um, installed it, and it works great. It uh, keeps me super, super warm. And right over here is where my diesel heater, the output is. This can go right out, and then I can articulate it again. This goes right out like a giant worm, and I can point it on my feet. I can point it up here. But usually it's good enough to stay in here. Building out something like this, I never thought I could actually build it out. I had an idea, but nothing like this. And I learned that I could, I can be very resourceful. I have so much advice on this. Do it right away. Sort of literally like your, your, your second home, your home away from home, uh, your, your, your private space, your fortress of solitude. The best part is your, your scene is always changing. You know, you don't like the area, just move somewhere else, drive somewhere else, right? And so I would say, you know, do it right away. It, it's, it's just incredible, the, the experiences, the comfort. You know, this is like a giant comfy couch. It's always comfortable. And I think, yeah, that's it. That's, that's why I really like this. It's, it's, it's always comfortable. Like this is, this is also my daily driver. You know, on my lunch breaks, you know, I could, like while everybody goes to the lunchroom, I go in here and just chill right out. I, I, I take a nap. I watch videos. I think that's the number one thing. If you don't want people to sort of get to you, uh, sort of bother you, if you want to get away from toxic people, this is this is a really good thing. It's a really good thing. And again, we all have a different circumstance and situation. If you need a safe space, uh, having a van build is it. What's great is you can drive away anywhere. The bed setup, I literally I just put my my um, my cushion and my head's over there I use this is a rolled up towel I put it over here I bring that back and since I'm not like super super tall I guess this is where it really it's really handy when you're super tall um, I can just sleep this way uh, I, I sleep like like a soldier I'm literally I'm just like a, I just sleep like that some people freak out like how do you sleep like that? I just do. However, if for whatever reason I didn't want to sleep like that, this thing actually goes out, okay? And this cushion goes right on top of it. It's about the width of the cushion like this, okay? So it's a wider bed and, you know, a little more comfortable. But usually I do that when I'm going to be I'm going to be at an area for, for a while. The way it works, you open it up and there's the fridge. It's turned off, okay? And then I just, that's all I keep in there pretty much it and so for electricity it I have about that's a 35 but 140 amp hours and it's powered by uh, solar and I also have a DC to DC charger so uh, I install it myself and essentially when I'm driving it's going to it's going to completely charge it up and everything and how much solar do you have on the roof 200 watts and that's that's enough to get by and you know and I thought about insulating the van but then I thought you know, if I insulated this van, we'd probably have like one stick of a space right here. <laughs> you know, it didn't make sense. And also, it, it's a budget build. Originally, I started it as a as a no build, and I just kept adding to it. And I sort of picture sort of the whole van thing as sort of like a giant metal tent. I, I've been winter camping. I mean, it's still better than nothing, right? But and I've got a diesel heater never really needed it right uh, the next build might be different but no never I've never I've gone through two winters with this already and and perfectly fine I could even cut a straight line before I started this and not that I still can but I'm still better than before and that's nothing about this this build is nothing really lines up if you look really closely it's like oh okay that kind of does line up and I sort of built it based on what I needed at the time but I did watch, you know, YouTube videos. I, I practiced cutting, um, and um, you know, very simple. It's like you know, you have you have a, a circular saw. You've got some wood. Cut it. Cut it on the line. Plan it out. I've had I've had some a, a few issues where I, I cut the wrong size. So I learned really well. I'm more of a, you know, what's the expression? Cut. 
What's it? Measure, <laughs> measure twice, cut once. I think I cut twice, measure once. But you know, so I gotten better that way. And so I make these little plans. A lot of them I don't do because I just didn't do them because I didn't have time or it's like, oh, this isn't gonna work. But I plan everything out in here, right? So I have this cup here. I do this and it stays. That's one of my favorites. I once put a cup there and it, it kind of fell over and I thought, oh, I need something to secure it. So I thought, well, how about I just put that there and, and it's worked out pretty good. The main challenge for me really is just making sure that everything is, is, is secure. I've had a, a few people kind of like just look inside and peer in. And if you have a bricks and sticks home, you know, somebody comes up to your window and looks inside, you're, you're going to be concerned. And I've, I've had that happen. Really, that's that's really the only issue I've had. Uh, oh, like standard things like maybe car repairs. You know, it's an old vehicle. It's a 2008. Most people think it's kind of neat. I think that's... That's the majority of the people. I've never had anybody say, oh, why are you doing that? You shouldn't do that. And I, I, Although I've heard some individuals say that they've had some challenges, you know, family members or maybe friends kind of discouraging them from doing this. I, I say total opposite. You should do it. This is an amazing lifestyle. And here we go. So what I've got here, screens, keep the bugs out for the front windows. And I talked to you earlier about my Spartan Ultras. So I, I run Spartan races. And the idea here is it opens up and I can cook here as well. There's a short power and that goes to the battery. It's got a switch right here that I can turn off right over here. Disconnects everything. This goes to the battery and there's a, a way to charge it uh, directly. For, it's about 10 amps. So it's, it's a slow trickle charger. What would my philosophy on life be? Understand your worth. Understand that success to me is not the material things because you can always reacquire that. Uh, my philosophy is I think um, be kind, be, be generous, uh, be, be loyal. Be loyal to your, your friends and family like a vice grip. You know, that's important to me, right? And, um, you know, always, uh, I, that, that ex what's that expression? Uh, like, I know, I know the expression, like, live at the moment. I always say, yeah, yeah, do that, but also kind of like, you know, keep an eye out for what's up ahead as well. You, 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 you kind of want to make sure that there's no potholes out there. Like, and, and learn from your past, things like that. So, I think that's the main thing. And also remember, you're awesome. Always remember you're awesome. You could do stuff. You can plan stuff out. I, actually, there it is. I think, all, and you can use whatever word you want. It could be awesome. It could be remarkable. You know, it could be, it could be anything. But re remember your worth. You're worth a lot. You could do stuff. You can plan it out. I mean, I never thought I could make something like this, right? But I sat down. I got my pen and paper and I said ah, let's start with the bed and then build it up from there incremental progress understand that I have a YouTube channel surprise surprise and it's uh, silver cabin and I also have an Instagram you know the standard issued stuff but usually it's mostly my YouTube you can follow me on YouTube thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please share it with a friend also, if you want to watch more Alternative Dwellings, we've got a playlist popping up right here, and we release new episodes every single Sunday, so consider subscribing.